Pip coffee. I'm hoping my nausea won't keep me from drinking it since it's not food. We'll see. So, because it seems to be limited to, to food items since it's coffee. I don't know. But I'll just live like a ghoul and survive off of coffee and you know, food. Hey guys, I'm not feeling the best today. Um, still feeling less the effects of overdoing yesterday morning, and my pain is high, and I just feel really lethargic. I got out of bed to wash the blender, and just walking to the kitchen, I almost fell. Thankfully, someone had already washed it, so I didn't have to do that. And it wasn't for me; it was for Caroline, so I didn't have to make anything in it. But, um, getting back to my bed, I almost, I was, like, having to focus so hard on my feet because I was constantly almost falling over. And so, thankfully, I made it back to my bed without falling. But, but just barely. So, I'm not feeling that good. I made myself breakfast earlier, but I haven't been able to eat much. As you can see, not much is gone. So, I'm just lying here. And... Trying to feel better. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll soon. We'll see. But I have coffee and I have YouTube and I have some cuddles. Hitchy cuddles always help me get through the rough patches and all the time. Hitchy cuddles are the best. I'm not feeling good. Mom kind of went to doctor appointment this morning and I. <laughs> Lay your bed, trying to feel better. So I still feel pretty rough. But get, trying to stand up really showed me how rough I feel. So I'll just rest for a while and hopefully I'll feel up to doing stuff later. And I was trying to listen to my body and wait. I don't even know if y'all can understand that with the yawning. So I'll just try to listen to my body and do what it needs so I can recover. That's all I can do. So I took my regular one hour nap and it ended up being two hours the second hour I just couldn't stop snoozing my phone alarm it just I needed more rest I guess I guess today's actually just a day my body is telling me I have to rest because I've pushed myself so much th the past week I mean health has been surprisingly stable the past week and so I guess my body's just telling me I need to be careful and watch it so I will listen it's because well it's kind of giving me an ultimatum and I feel super sucky um and I have a doctor appointment tomorrow so I need a rest so I feel up to going and so it's came, coming in um hi Sarah um just looking around <laughs> just not really wanted anything but anyways, my glasses came in apparently. Mom got the call about that. So tomorrow while I'm out for the doctor, I will also pick up my glasses. Um, since I was only able to eat a few bites of my breakfast and it doesn't have anything like meat in it that would form back to you get too quickly at room temperature, I just microwaved it and went on to eat it again. But uh, I just don't feel good guys, so I'm resting. I have a nice cold pack, which will be nice after I've got a really long nap, because really long naps like that, when I feel bad, always like make, wake me up feeling kind of dehydrated and wanting something cold and refreshing. So this will be perfect. So, anyways, I'm going to go rest some more and try to eat my food. So I am obviously not feeling good by the fact that I'm having two blankets and a sweater, and I asked Mom to make me a cup of tea. I think... The last time I made, asked someone to make me a cup of tea was like a year ago when I was having an asthma attack and didn't have any medicine to control it. So I don't usually ask for tea. I prefer coffee and other things. And and if I want tea, I'd make it myself usually. So I'm just like really not feeling well at all. However, there is one thing that just got me excited happy 
which I'm about to show y'all. I'm pulling it because my phone locked. I was leaving it open on purpose and it locked. So, let's turn the camera around. This person started following me on Instagram. Um, and there's her username, Laura Bloom, work in Wanderlust. And she's the executive director of the Illustan Law Society. I just think that's so cool. And I think you were saying, Lost Society has done so much for EDSers and with spreading awareness, with finding, with, um, I can't even think or speak. I feel so nauseous, guys. They've done so much to help with our medical care. It's like really such a help. Um, like when we had to be sedated and kind of go into anesthesia, we were able to go to Ayla Stan Law Society website and print out information to take to give to our doctors and anesthesiologists and everything. And it's seriously such a helpful resource. And so I think it's really cool that the executive director is on following me on Instagram. And ah, that's so cool. So I may be feeling sucky, but that was happy and I got to watch the new um got to watch Crackly Jackie this morning and then I watched the new Fry Life and I am now watching um Christina okay Christina I am sorry if I'm about to butcher your name I do not know how to pronounce the last name do hurty do hearty I don't know so Christina do hurty or she also goes by watercolor me impressed so I've been following her on Instagram and YouTube for a long time and so I'm really was excited that today was new vlog day and so I'm catching up because I was worried about her after last week I saw that she had a really bad week last week and I meant to comment but I forgot because I was really feeling sick at the time <laughs> so I meant to go back and comment but I didn't and so I'm really relieved to see that so far at least this week's vlog she's improving so yeah Christina your desk looks awesome I have no idea if you're watching this probably not <laughs> but I want to, to say that I'm gonna comment on your vlog in a bit I hope I feel really sick so I hope I'll remember I'm my hope my hope is that if, when I edit this vlog tomorrow I'll see this and remember to comment if I don't comment today which I probably won't because I feel so sucky and I have to get ready for my cardio appointment tomorrow so I feel like I'm gonna throw up so I'm gonna leave and try not to <laughs> my favorite apple cinnamon tazo and it's in my fox mug the apple cinnamon reminds me of nutri grain bars which I love so it's nice <laughs> yummy Hey y'all, it's about 6.30 and I am at Sam's. I gotta get in there before they close the pharmacy and pick up meds for Rachel and Caroline. Um, this morning we had an appointment with the dermatologist that went really well. First time with her, she was really nice. Um, and she um, even, said something really sweet, she said to Caroline um, that she was very well adjusted considering everything that she's going through. And, um, I said it's funny because we just like we're flying by the seat of our pants a lot of times but um did that but then when we got home Caroline is concerned that she may have C. diff again she had that back in June I think that was it June somewhere in there and so we called her her new PCP and we've got to go in the morning now I don't tend to do morning appointments because um Sarah, like last night, we had a morning appointment this morning. We had to be there at 9.20. And Sarah had kept me up until almost 5. So I only got a couple of hours sleep. I came home, took a nap for a couple of hours. And um, it's not the same. <laughs> I just don't feel like I get going after that for some reason. But tomorrow morning, we have to be at the doctor's office at 8.15, do blood work. Um, let's see, 8.15, do blood work, then her appointment's at 8.45, then I've got to get home with her, 
then pick up Rachel and drive across town the other direction and have her to call it cardiology appointment at 1.30. So tomorrow is going to be busy. But if all goes according to where we're at right now, she should be, um, I should be home all day Wednesday. I'm hoping, really hoping I can be home all day Wednesday. So we're gonna do, I've gotta do Sam's and I'm looking to where I'm going. Target, um, maybe Michael's and our Hobby Lobby and Kroger. Yeah, I've got to do all those before I go home. So, hopefully they won't be too bad. I haven't done my Sam's Weekly Shopping yet. I'm fixing to do that. And we'll see how that goes. So, I will check back with you later. Hey, y'all. Sorry about the bad quality. It's, like, not very bright in here. And I'm using my phone. So, um, it's 8 o'clock. 8.15 almost. And he's so pitch black outside. It is getting dark so early. I got to Target an hour ago and it was already dark. And he's just messing with my head really bad. So anyway, um, I'm fixing to run home. Everybody at home is feeling really bad. Rachel's doing really bad and Caroline is not doing good. And anyway, and I don't know about Hannah. I haven't talked to her. Her sleep schedule is really messed up and she was asleep when I was at home. So. I'll check on her when I get there but I am done shopping I just decided to do what I could at Target because I was not my knee went out at Sam's and I wasn't up to um, doing a whole lot of walking and all these other stores and I determined that what I needed at Michael's and Hobby Lobby was not that important it wasn't worth it so uh, maybe later in the week my knee will feel better and I can get through those stores but today was not that day so I'm fixing to head home and I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably maybe put tins on my back and my knee. That helps so much. Just my best friend. Tins and heat. So I'm going to go do that and then, I don't know. I'm going to take a bath and get ready for tomorrow. I mean, I've got to get ready for tomorrow. So go get all that done and I will. If I don't talk to you later, Rachel will. Hey guys, it's... 8.45 and the video, the vlog for today is now live. <laughs> Much later than I usually get it, but I got it. And you know, it's real life. I, we went into vlogging. No, nope. the purpose for this vlog is to show what spoony life is like. So sometimes our chronic illnesses will get in the way of vlogging. But I still enjoy vlogging. I enjoy sharing our lives with you and raising awareness for our health conditions and so I just roll with it <laughs> and I'm also laughing at all um, things like uh, since I'm having trouble walking today I keep laughing at things like taking it one step at a time because <laughs> because falling and I found those kind of things especially funny last year when I was in my wheelchair completely so now I just have to use wheels on bad days, but <laughs> those kind of things always, I'm going to stand for them. Those kind of things always make me laugh since I have standing and mobility issues. <laughs> but I saw this great Tumblr post earlier that I think is really positive and I am totally all for it because the first person said if you're waking up while McDonald's is still serving breakfast, you're doing good. And then the second person responded, isn't McDonald's doing all day breakfast now? And a third person said, well, if you woke up today, you're doing good. And that's great too. Sure, I didn't do much or other anything today, but I woke up. Oh wait, I did edit the vlog, so I have done something, but that's all. But. I woke up, so that's what's important. I'm getting through the day, so as long as I make it to tomorrow, that's what's important. And yeah, I'm really hungry. I wish I could eat. I ate a few grapes earlier, yay me, but I don't think I can eat anything else because the grapes made me really nauseous. And getting this get down was hard. And blah, uh, but it's so hot today. And I really need to take a bath to prep for the cardiologist. Uh, well, I was like, are you sure you can get ready? I'm like, yes. I wasn't, I was thinking it, but not saying it, that 
if I can't do it tonight, I'll just find a way to make room to take a quick bath before I leave tomorrow. Uh, it's annoying how often Crack Glass gets in the way of bathing because it takes so many spoons, especially when you have um, blood pressure issues like we have, and also it dislocates our joints, and it just takes a lot of energy. And so, but we have coffee. I'm hoping my nausea won't keep me from drinking it since it's not food. We'll see. So. Because it seems to be limited to, to food items since it's coffee. I don't know. But I'll just live like a ghoul and survive off of coffee and you know, food. <sighs> I love making anime manga references. So I, I found a really great um, comic artist on Tumblr and she's into anime and cosplay and her comics are great. And so. Um, I found one especially really related to, I don't know, it's when you find someone who seems to be into the show and they're not really not. So I'll link her stuff down below and I'll put her name here. And yeah, her comics were great. So I really enjoyed reading some of them on Tumblr. And Tumblr app is life. <laughs> I love the Tumblr app because whenever I'm really especially sick, like I am today, I'll just like mindlessly scroll through the app looking for posts that catch my interest and it's a way to pass the time when I'm super sick. <laughs> so I will share her comics with y'all guys and I'm gonna go put my arm down so because <laughs> calling the camera is hard. I successfully got my bath in Amy. It's hard with my health tape, I did it. I did fall afterwards. But thankfully I was able to grab onto the cabinet on my way down, so while I wasn't able to prevent myself from falling, I was able to ease the, um, ease the fall a bit so that way I didn't injure myself. So that's a relief. So I'm really hoping I feel better tomorrow because I really need to get to my doctor appointment. And my glasses came in, so I need to pick those up. Yay! New frames! I get to reveal them to y'all. But... I feel bad, so I want to go to bed a little bit early tonight. Um, I'm kind of watching tonight. Dancing with the Stars, Miss Melbier. I watched earlier and I cried so much. So much. But it's really good. Miss Melbier is always feels. <sighs> I don't feel good though. I also watched the new Scorpion, which was, had a lot of feels in it because the episode was about saving animals from poachers. And so, I like seeing animals being saved. <laughs> I'm so tired though, guys. Really hoping tomorrow will be a better day. But, and I can sleep well, so. So, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give that thumbs up. It has daily vlogs, so if you See y'all tomorrow. Good night.